Remember, as always, your views, your comments and suggestions are welcome on any of our topical stories this hour. Go to our Facebook page and post a comment. And I care, what's, what do we have first? Right, so we begin with our first story tonight. And an Accra Circuit Court has granted an injunction filed by the police service to stop pressure group Let My Votes Count Alliance from demonstrating tomorrow, Tuesday, September 29. Well, this decision quashes an earlier one by another court which granted permission to the group to go ahead because the motion filed by the police had expired. The order of restraint was filed after a circuit court declared the initial motion by the police as void. This was due to the expiration of the initial ex parte motion filed earlier by the police. Well, the circuit court has also asked the group not to embark on any other demonstration until October to give the police adequate time to prepare to ensure the safety of the demonstrators and the general public. The group scheduled their next demonstration demanding a new voters register ahead of the 2016 elections for tomorrow, Tuesday, September 29, which now has an injunction placed on. Meanwhile, an Accra Circuit Court earlier today declared that a restraining order obtained by the police had expired and the protesters could go ahead with their picketing. The police on September 18 filed an ex party motion restraining pressure group Let My Vote Count Alliance from picketing at the Electoral Commission as part of a planned demonstration on September 29. According to the police, the Electoral Commission is a security zone and the protesters could not extend their demonstration to the premises. The organizers of the demonstration, however, went to court to set aside a restraining order obtained by the police. But the court presided over by Justice M. E. E. Sando indicated the restraining order which was meant to last 10 days as part on September 28. The demonstration can go ahead and if the police seeks to frustrate it, they will have to come to court. But I think really, in the interest of justice, let them come on notice. You can't come to court the day before a planned demonstration to go behind the organizers and hope to get a, a court to um, restrain the organizers from exercising their fundamental human rights. Justice Sandler said the police could only get back to the court with a fresh motion. The earlier demonstration was characterized by violence. After the court proceedings, the convener of Let My Vote Count Alliance said the demonstration will be peaceful. We are law-abiding group. That is how come we came to court. The police were seeking the court's order to restrain us. We did not get onto the street to have a head-on collision with the police, but rather what we sought to do was to come to court to seek the court's backing to do what is right. And our original intent is to picket the EC. We're going to stay a while longer on this developing story. Let's get on the phone lines now and speak to David Asante, his convener of the Let My Vote Count Alliance. David, thank you very much for your time. Uh, this obviously, uh, this latest action by the police must have come as a surprise to you. Did you see it coming? Well, I'm afraid uh, we lost David Asante on the phone lines. We're going to try very hard to uh, get him back on the phone lines. But, Nanika, this appears to be a merry-go-round uh, story. I mean, first, the, the police go and secure an injunction. They, they let my vote count goes to court, to throw away that application, and then the police go back to court. Well, well, it's quite interesting, but I'm sure that they would be able to tell us exactly why this is happening. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. We're told we have David Asante back on the phone lines. David... Uh, I'm sure this latest action by the police uh, must have come as a surprise to you. Did you see it coming? Thank you very much. Good evening to our viewers. We did see it coming. We anticipated it could happen, and it finally happened. It has happened. Uh, we, we, we are not really depressed, but our worry is why would the police allow themselves to be manipulated to inflict such an ungodly pain on citizens? We set out to embark on an otherwise peaceful protest to demand the new voters register. And this is where we find ourselves after the police maimed people and all that. We went to court to challenge the court to set an order aside secured by the police. The order was granted and the exciting thing was that in the judge's judgment, he indicated that it was wrong and legally unacceptable for the police to, on the blind side of the, of the protesters, come to court to seek an ex-party injunction. 
And he insisted that his court and his person would not allow the police to do that. So the police should not even attempt it in his court. Interestingly, another judge was available for that ex parte injunction to be granted on the blind side of the protesters. This is democracy. We yeah. accept the order of the court. We shall abide and stick strictly to it. Uh, but David, it must be told. Uh, David, uh, you are claiming that the police has been uh, politically motivated and that you're just embarking on a peaceful demonstration. Uh, I beg to differ on that because we've seen uh, videos uh, being put out by the police of your members, members of Let My Vote Count Alliance, uh, uh, throwing stones at the police during the last demonstration. What's your definition of peaceful? I see. Possibly you must have watched that video alone because I haven't seen one. And I can tell you on authority, the demonstrators I put on the streets of Accra the last time did not tell to the police with stones. That I can tell you on authority. Are you suggesting the way you, saw, are some you, suggesting the way you saw some intruders possibly doing their own thing? But in any case, are we going to stretch this matter and say it is legally acceptable for police to fire tear gas and pluck off the eyes of protesters? Are we going to say that it's acceptable in modern democracy that the state institution like the police will be used to suppress the will of the masses just in a matter of two hours after a court has passed an injunction clandestinely secured by the police? A judge is also available on standby after two hours to grant another expiry injunction through the darkness on the blind side of the protesters. Clearly, yes, clearly, democracy clearly, and clearly, David, about it. clearly, David, it is not acceptable for the police to be uh, throwing tear gas on uh, demonstrators who are only exercising their uh, constitutional mandates. It is also not acceptable uh, for demonstrators to also be pelting stones at the police. Well, I haven't seen that, but I have seen a young man who has lost one eye because a policeman fired rubber bullets at him. That the whole world has seen. You're talking about a video I cannot attest to. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Uh, David Asante is convener of the Let My Vote Counts Alliance uh, uh, reacting to uh, the latest decision by the circuit court. Well